we're showcasing some of the UK's most iconic climbs. And last time we did a guide how to ride Hard Knock Pass in the Lake District, but this time we're gonna guide you up Shibden Wall in Halifax in West Yorkshire. And I'm joined by my mate Joe, who is the stat man. Skibby dibby dim, bat dab at dim. Joe, give us the stats, man. I do love a good stat, that is true. <laughs> and the Shibden Wall is only 890 meters long. Only. Only, that's not very long. But Easy. It, but it averages 15% with right. maximums of 25 if you ride it sensibly. But if you want to go up the inside of the corner, then it's 30%. Yeah, that corner there is yep. pretty tasty. <laughs> <laughs> in a few cars struggling up it today. So the, the KOM is a blistering four minutes and eight seconds. I mean, that's getting broken today. Yeah, again. by, by Tej mean, Van. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it is cobbled. I yeah. like that last. It's cobbled. Yeah. And they're Yorkshire cobbles. Yeah, so that means they're even harder yeah. than normal cobbles. I mean, God, just think of all the poor kids who've had to deliver loaves of Hovis on their heavy steel bikes up this climb. But fortunately, Oro have sorted us out with these really light carbon gold bikes. They're top of the range bikes with Shimano Ultegron. So that's pretty sweet. So yeah, I bet those Hovis delivering kids would have loved bikes like this. Aren't we lucky, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> Immensely. Yeah. Right, let's get to it. So the climb starts just around this corner, just past the Shibden Mill pub and it's marked by a little bridge. And on the bridge, it says the official name of the road, which is Lee Lane. Um, so Shibden Wall is a sort of local slang name because it is a total wall. <laughs> Sounds more intimidating. Yeah, yeah. Lee Lane, yeah. Shibden Wall. Yeah. Oh God. And then as soon as you get past, there's the sign there. As soon as you get past the bridge, I mean, it begins and you know about it. I'm already in my easiest gear. <laughs> so the first part of the climb, you can see it's not cobbled, it's tarmacked, but it's still proper steep. I mean, this is like, what, 15? At least. 15% or so right now. Oh, killer. One perk is it is a lovely surface. Yeah, it is nice and smooth. That. This would be a tough climb if it was all like this surface, but God. Oh God. So that was just the warm up. Yeah, gets your legs going. <laughs> and that levels off to seven or eight percent. Yeah. So a bit of rest bite now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're onto, yeah, sort of an 8% section just before the cobbles begin when it ramps up again. So if you're coming up the climb, I'd say try and use this bit to recover before you get to the cobbles. So this climb has been used in quite a few races. Um, most notably recently, stage three of the 2017 Tour de Yorkshire, where I'm sure the riders really enjoyed it. <laughs> but uh, I think the crowd certainly did. Yeah, the oh, crowds up here were numbers. incredible. Yeah. Shibden Wall's also been used in the Kellogg's Tour as well, which is a race that's much older. It was in the 80s. So in the 1988 Kellogg's Tour, um, Sean Kelly was racing in that. I think he might have won it. Yeah. But he came up Shibden Wall in that. And they actually rode on the pavement on the side of the climb to go, because it was that hard. I'll get you a DQ these days. Yeah. <laughs> and then the cables start. Oh. oh, God. Yeah, this is horrible. Yeah. <laughs> so it's proper steep here. It's like, oh God, 15, maybe 18% here. This is hard work. The thing is as well, because I'm quite light, my front wheel's wanting to lift off because I'm you're trying to be seated because you're on cobbles. Yeah. But I mean I can sort of get out the saddle and that distributes the weight of the bike better, but I can do that because it's dry today, but Oh if it was wet it'd be treacherous up here. Oh man. 
I would not be surprised to see very good riders walking. If it was wet, you'd be slipping around so much if you were out the saddle. Oh God. The cobbles lanes are quite varied. They're aligned in lovely neat rows. But they are they're nowhere near even. Good quality cobbles. <laughs> oh God. This is when it starts to get really tough <laughs> around this first corner. Oh God. Oh. People associate cobbles and cobbled climbs with Flanders and Northern Belgium, but oh man, come to Yorkshire. <laughs> They've got an abundance. There are a few around here. There's Troopers oh. Lane as well, isn't there? Just yeah. local. Yeah, so even harder than this. Right. Trooper Lane. Non sensible line. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Just trying to talk. Trooper Lane averages 19% and is about the same length. So. I'm just glad we're not doing that today. Look at Sean Kelly going up the pavement on the left. We're not doing that, are we, Joe? No. Oh, which is a shame. I know. We wanted to, but the producer wouldn't allow it. <laughs> oh. I think the, the wall name was earned for this part, and it is pretty consistent 20%. Oh. My form, my form, I've just, my core has just turned to a piece of spaghetti. I'm just <laughs> all over the shop. Oh. oh God, this is savage. Oh. Just think how determined all those bread delivery boys must have been <laughs> back in the day. Na, 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 na. No, 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 no. We're just getting to the top now, and it's still cobbled, but the gradient is easing a bit. God, that's hard work, that is isn't it? Hard. That is a workout, that is. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, flatness. Oh. <laughs> We're at the top of Shibden Wall now, and uh, when you get to the top, you treat it to this cracking view of Halifax, which is really nice that you can enjoy, but. What do you think of Shibden Wall, Joe? Well, I think it's easier than Hard Knot Pass. Yeah, definitely, uh, yeah. Yeah, I would say it's, it's easier more just because of the length. Out of 10? Uh, an eight, eight out of 10. I don't think uh, it detracts from the climb. I just think it's, it's easier to get up. You'd be fine on probably standard gears, a bit of a grind. It, it is a brilliant yeah. climb. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. I think it's the cobbles that make it unique. Like I can say it's, it is easier than Hard Knot Pass, but. It, it's different and iconic in a different way. And you've got this Yorkshire setting and it's so, I really enjoy coming up this with all the, the flowers on the side and the, the, the cobbles and then you've got the dry stone walls on the side and all the houses and stuff and the beautiful view of the hills in the background. It's just Yorkshire, you know? And I'm obviously biased about Yorkshire and passionate about Yorkshire because I'm from Yorkshire. Uh, I don't think I've ever mentioned that ever before. Not once, I think. No. <laughs> That's new, new, new news. <laughs> Breaking. But, uh, but yeah, it is, it is cracking and I'd love more people to come here and be able to see this and experience this because it's, it's great. And what about like the gears we had today? What do you think? Well, we had a uh, compact with a 30 on the back. Yeah. Uh, and that was actually, I think, the right, the right gearing if I was going to ride yeah. up this. Uh, but I think if you had a standard chain set, I wouldn't dash to the shops. You'll get up it. Yeah. You'll be fine. I think with gearing, the main distinction is sort of wet and dry. So when it's dry, like we've had today, um, you can get out the saddle as we were able to do. But if it's wet, you might need a, a slightly easier gearing because you've got to be seated and you've got to be thinking, can I turn that gear? Because yeah. if, if you're standing in the wet on the cobbles, it can get really slippy, can't it? It can, yeah. I think maybe an eight brackets nine. 
yeah. for this climb, weather dependent. Like it, like yeah, you're thinking. Think so, nice yeah. one. Yeah. yeah. It's good, that. Eight brackets, nine. I like it. An asterisk. So there you have it. That was our guide to Shibden Wall. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. And why not subscribe to the Cycling Weekly channel where you can see more videos like this about cycling up amazing climbs. But until then, we'll see you next time. We're going to Ditchling Beacon now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good climb. Yeah, wicked, yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, as if you didn't need any more reasons to come to Yorkshire and climb Shibden Wall, it's also got Halifax Ski and Snowboard Centre at the top. You can go for a ski after you get to the top, just like in the Alps, Alpe d'Huez. Go for a ski at the top there, can't you? Ride up that.